Today we're going to talk about the Howa Type 20, Japan's latest assault rifle, and why it represents a significant advancement in military technology. This rifle is a game changer, and we're going to dive deep into its features and implications. Keep watching. For Japan, modernizing its military capabilities has been a challenging task. The country faces a rapidly changing security environment, with an increasingly assertive China and a nuclear-armed North Korea. This shift in the regional balance of power has forced Japan to rethink its defense strategy and invest in new military technologies. One of the key areas of focus has been the development of advanced small arms, which is where the Hawa Type 20 comes in. Keep watching. The development of this rifle is a significant step forward for Japan's military, but it's not without its challenges. Japan's military has traditionally been focused on defense, and the development of a new assault rifle requires a shift in mindset towards a more proactive approach. Keep watching. Another challenge Japan faces is its aging population and declining birth rates, which means that the country has a shrinking pool of potential recruits. This means that the military has to be more efficient and effective, and the Howa Type 20 is designed to help achieve it. The rifle is designed to be more reliable and easier to use, reducing the training time and increasing the effectiveness of Japanese soldiers. Additionally, the rifle is designed to be more modular, allowing it to be easily customized to suit different mission requirements. Keep watching. Military technology is advancing by leaps and bounds, and if countries fail to keep up with this evolution, they are destined to fall several rungs in the military power hierarchy. In this context, it is crucial for nations to invest in updating and improving their military capabilities to avoid being left behind. Keep watching. In 2020, Japan announced a critical update to its offensive capability with the launch of the Hawa Type 20 rifle. This 5.56 by 45 mm caliber rifle stands out for its innovative features. After more than three decades without renewing its main assault rifle, Japan has spent nearly 30 years developing this new model, achieving a design that blends the best of several existing rifles with a construction adapted for future conflicts. Keep watching! The Type 20 not only represents a significant leap forward for the Japanese military, but also promises to be a revolutionary change for the country's ground forces. Keep watching! In mid-2023, Japan's Ministry of Defense made one of its most significant and ambitious purchases in recent years. With an investment exceeding $23 million, they acquired 8,577 next-generation assault rifles from HOA machinery. This weaponry, designated as the Type 20, is considered the future of Japan's ground forces and is set to replace the venerable Type 89 rifle. According to media reports, this substantial batch of rifles will enter service between 2024 and 2025, mainly for close combat operations of the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. Keep watching! The HOA Type 20 boasts several notable features, dimensions and weight. The rifle's length is adjustable between 780 and 850 millimeters, depending on the stock configuration with 330 millimeters dedicated to the barrel. Weighing approximately 3.5 kilograms, it is quite light. Keep watching. Ergonomics. Designed for elite operators, it includes ambidextrous controls that facilitate firing from any position. Keep watching. Compatibility. It uses a 30-round Stanek magazine, similar to the M16, maintaining Japan's tradition of favoring weapons compatible with the extensive U.S. arsenal on its territory. Keep watching. Modularity. The Type 20 can be fitted with a Verita GLX 1660 grenade launcher and an optional vertical foregrip for improved control. Additionally, it features M-lock slots and Picatinny rails ideal for various accessories as well as extended side rails for greater tactical versatility. Keep watching! The design of the Type 20 is a fusion of several modern weapon models, such as the FN SCAR 16 SIG 516 and HK 416, which has sparked some controversy due to its similarities with these foreign weapons. However, for Japanese special operations units like the Special Forces Group, the adoption of foreign platforms is neither new nor problematic. Keep watching!
HOA machinery has successfully leveraged lessons from other weapons manufacturers in the development of the Type 20, and early reports suggest it is a reliable, durable, easy-to-maintain, combat-effective, and lightweight weapon. Keep watching! At a 2023 arms convention, HOA Machinery's general manager revealed that foreign countries are showing interest in the Type 20, which could mark a milestone for Japan's military industry. This is especially relevant after the 2014 amendment and 2022 reinforcement of legislation limiting arms exports. Thus, it is possible that, in the not-too-distant future, we may see weapons made in Japan in the hands of soldiers from other nations. Keep watching! Although initial reports on the Type 20 are positive, these data come from exercises, and the rifle has yet to be tested in real combat. It will be interesting to see how it performs in conflict situations to validate these claims. Keep watching! Additionally, the rifle's gas-operated technology with a short-stroke piston and rotating bolt system for locking includes a manual gas regulator. Its upper and lower receivers are made of aluminum, contributing to its lightweight and durability. Keep watching. The Type 20, while adjustable, is made entirely of polymer and does not fold sideways, which could have saved space. According to Japanese media, the rifle is planned to be equipped with a 1 to 8 times telescopic sight as the main optic, although soldiers can personalize it with their choice of sights thanks to the Picatinny rails. Keep watching! The Type 20's rate of fire ranges between 650 and 850 rounds per minute, depending on the selected mode. To prevent excessive barrel wear, each rifle includes a quick-change spare barrel. Keep watching! Compared to its predecessor, the Type 89, which has been in service since the late 1980s, the Type 20 exhibits significant differences. The Type 20's fire selector has three positions, safe, semi-automatic, and fully automatic, whereas the Type 89 included an additional option for three-round bursts, now deemed unnecessary by the Japanese military. Additionally, the Type 20 is shorter by 70 millimeters compared to the Type 89, a clear advantage in close quarters combat. Keep watching. One of the first users of the Type 20 are soldiers from amphibious rapid deployment units, similar to the SEALs, which is no coincidence, as one of this rifle's main qualities is its resistance and durability in extreme climates and terrains. It is said that the Type 20 can withstand various environments without failure, even when transported underwater for extended periods, a critical capability for security missions on Japan's islands. Keep watching! A military's armament reflects its conflict hypothesis. For Japan, the territorial disputes over the Senkaku Islands with China represent growing tension. The Type 20, with its construction resistant to saltwater corrosion, arrives at a critical moment for potential amphibious missions. In 2023, Japan revealed videos of soldiers from the Amphibious Rapid Deployment Brigade training with this new platform in a jungle environment full of mud and dense vegetation. However, as always, the real test lies on the battlefield, and Japan has yet to engage in direct conflicts with China or North Korea. Keep watching. According to Japanese media, the Ministry of Defense plans to acquire 150,000 units of the Type 20, a long-term goal that could accelerate in case of a crisis. Although territorial disputes with China are currently handled diplomatically, tensions could escalate making the Type 20 not only a military tool but also a symbol of a larger geopolitical problem. Keep watching. The development and implementation of the Type 20 rifle represent a significant step forward for Japan's armed forces, reflecting its commitment to staying at the forefront of military technology. With an innovative design adapted to future needs, the Type 20 not only strengthens Japan's offensive capability, but also positions the country as a potential exporter of advanced military technology in the future. Keep watching. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, where there's new content every day and many surprises coming soon. Don't miss them. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day. Keep watching.